Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today we're going to be working on uh, the standard equation of the circle also known as the center radius form. In analytical geometry or analytic geometry, we have four different kinds sections, and circle is one of them. For today, we're going to use a special form of an equation of a circle known as the center radius equation or the standard form of a circle, and that's what we're going to be working on in our lesson today. So for this equation, we need to have, of course, the standard equation of the circle, also known as the radius or center radius form of the circle so we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared where hk is our center and r is our radius so notice that we have two elements of the circle that we need to be able to write the center radius form of our circle and for our visual we are seeing a circle here with radius r and center at h k okay. so notice that we have an x y plane wherein this is the vertical axis or y axis and the horizontal axis or the x axis let's say we have a circle anywhere on the x y plane let's say it's right here so this circle although it's not an accurate representation of a circle but just a sketch so to give you an idea to write the center radius form of our equation we need our center which is denoted by hk and the distance from the center to any of the point in our circle which will be our radius so these are the two elements that we need to be able to write the equation of our circle so let's write that equation which we're going to be using today x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square is equal to r squared, where the center is at h and k, and r is our radius. So let's start working on a problem that will help us use the equation to write the equation of a particular circle. And this is our first equation. We need to write the standard equation of a circle with center at 5, negative 2, and radius at 7. Notice that all the elements or ingredients that we need for our formula is given in this problem the center and the radius so to uh, write the equation of this circle it's going to be really quick because we know that the center here is given by 5 negative 2 and our radius is given by 7 so if we not r but 7 so if we visualize this in our x y plane this is y and this is x now again this is just a sketch and not an accurate graph of our circle but to be able to visualize it in the cartesian coordinate center at five negative two is one two three four five and two down so the center is right here and to find the graph of the circle with radius seven so that means from the center you count one two three four five six seven units you count seven units down you count seven units to the right you count seven units to the other direction and now we are forming the sketch or rough sketch of our circle not an accurate representation but this is why it's important to know our center and our radius so that we can write the equation and at the same time graph our circle when you graph your circle make sure to use your graphing paper so you can have an accurate or more accurate representation of the graph of your equation so now that we know our center and the radius let's write x minus h squared plus y minus k quantity square equal to r squared which is our formula so basically we're just replacing h we are replacing k and we are replacing r by h k and r so by plugging it in h is 5 
k is negative 2 and r is 7. And by simplifying our equation, this we don't need to simplify it because it's already in simplest form x minus 5 squared plus this can still be simplified because negative negative is positive so we have y plus 2 quantity squared equal to 7 squared is 49 and this is now the standard equation of our circle or the center radius form of our circle so we have all the information that we need in this problem h is 5 k is negative 2 and r is 7 using the formula for the equation of the circle in standard form we are going to replace h k and r giving us an equation that we can simplify so we'll have x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 49 which is the same equation as what we have in this work that we did in our board so it's pretty simple again it's easy when we have the center and the radius in our problem and graphing it is also easier if we have a graphing paper so let's have the second problem of the day which is to write the standard equation of the circle with a center at 1 negative 3 that passes through the point 2 2 Notice that in this equation or in this problem, we don't have the radius, but we have the point on the circle and the center of our circle. So to be able to answer any word problems in mathematics, including analytic geometry, it's always better to visualize the problem that we are working on. And to visualize it, let's sketch the graph of the given information. So we have center at 1, negative 3. 1, negative 3, so this is our center, that passes through the point 2, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, this is 2, 2, so that means our circle is passing through this point with a center at 1, 3, so if we sketch this circle like so, again, this is not an accurate representation of our circle, but we are seeing that the radius is connecting the center to the point. So since we have the center and the point, to be able to measure the length of our radius, we need the distance formula. So we are going to add another set of formula to be able to complete our equation. So let's write our given information. We have the center, which is at 1, negative 3, and we have a point at 2, 2. So let's write the distance formula. So the distance formula is simply the square root of the change in x coordinate square plus the change in y coordinate square. Now I know it's pretty uh, symbolic or my formula is using symbols but we know that the change in x is basically the difference of the x coordinate so we have 1 and 2 which is the x coordinate and we have negative 3 and 2 negative 3 and 2 as the y coordinate so the change in x is simply 1 minus 2 and 1 minus 2 is negative 1 and the difference of y is negative 3 minus 2 and negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So the change in x squared is simply negative 1 squared and the change of y squared is equal to negative 5 squared. So now we have all the elements that we need for our distance formula. So let's compute for our formula for the distance. So the distance is equal to distance is equal to the square root of the change in x squared which is negative 1 squared so negative 1 squared is simply 1 plus the change in y squared which is negative 5 squared and negative 5 squared is positive 25 so the distance is simply square root of 26 and now now that we have our distance, let's write it here. Distance is equal to the square root of 26. And we know that this distance is also the radius of our circle because we measured the center to the point 
and their length is squared of 26. So this is basically our given radius. So now that we have our center and our radius, center and our radius, we're ready to write the standard equation of our circle. And now that we have all the elements or ingredients that we need, let's write out the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Just like what we did on the previous example, since we have the ingredients for our formula, let's replace h, k, and r by h and k, 1 and negative 3 and square root of 26. And this is now our standard form or the radius center form of our equation of a circle. But since we can simplify this further, we can simplify this to terms that we have in our formula. So we have x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus minus 3 is y plus 3. And square root of 26 squared, we cancel it, and now we only have 26 because that's the simplest form of our real number, square root of 26 squared. And now we have the equation of our circle, which is what we have here on our slide. Now that we have our center and our point, we use the distance formula, change of x squared plus change of y squared giving us squared of 36 which is what we have here in our solution and our standard equation and replace h k and r and simplify it and now we have the same answer as what we have on this screen and this is how we write the equation of the circle given the information that we have with this form and this is what we're going to be learning on the standard form of uh, our conic sections given the parts of our circle. So in using any of analytic geometry formula, it's important that you are understanding the given information and how you match it to the given formula that we are using in mathematics. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!